Hey guys, today we're checking out the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve in the wind. The Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve is located north of Los Angeles and west of Lancaster. During the spring when we have a good bloom, it's a super popular spot for people to visit. The park is about 20 minutes outside of town and you'll pass many fields of poppies along the way. Be prepared to wait as the park is really busy right now with the great bloom we're having this year and I waited about 20 minutes on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. It's two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon and it's this full. I would definitely get here as early as you can on a weekend. You can also park outside of the reserve as well if the parking lot fills up. Parking outside of the reserve requires a 10 minute walk to get in, but it can be a great option, especially when the parking lot's full. After getting into the park, I headed to the visitor center first, checked out some of the displays, and then grabbed a map to head out on the trails. It was incredibly windy in the park, so I wasn't able to record much audio while there, but the first thing I did was head out on the half mile trail to Tehachapi viewpoint. The park is incredible right now, covered in a sea of orange, and it took me a good 30 minutes to walk to the viewpoint just because of how often I stopped to take pictures and video. When I finally got to the top of the hill, the views were incredible as well. It was basically a 360 degree view, and many of the hills were covered in all sorts of different kinds of flowers, ranging from orange to yellow. From there, I continued on the 1.5 mile Poppy Trail North Loop back towards the visitor center. I highly recommend you take a trail like this, as it allows you to get away from a lot of the people that just hang out near the parking area and visitor center. When I got back to the visitor center, I connected with the trail that took me up to the Katanamuk Vista Point. Oh my gosh, it's incredibly windy today. Bring a windbreaker if you come out here. I fought the winds all the way up to the Vista Point and it was definitely worth it as it has amazing views of the entire reserve, especially the front section, which was basically covered in orange. After fighting the winds for as long as I could, I made my way back down the hill and over to my last stop, the Valley Vista Point. This was a great last stop as it had amazing views of the front of the park and it was a close walk back to the parking lot. Overall, I did about three and a half miles of hiking while I was there and this is definitely the best time to visit the park if you're able to. Also, if you want a good laugh, I linked to the video I made of the park in 2014. At least my videos are getting a little bit better, right? Alright guys, I'm getting blown away by this wind, so I'm putting this away. Thanks for exploring with me. Like and subscribe. We will see you guys next week.